For 13 years, the Cassini spacecraft explored astounding worlds, Saturn and its moons. We discovered things we never imagined. All of these strange, bizarre landscapes, geysers erupting out of moons. We were so stunned by the images. I mean, people were just going around in shock. But Cassini started running out of fuel. Scientists at NASA had to decide what to do next. And the answer was actually pretty spectacular. Cassini goes where no spacecraft has gone before. A death flight revealing the deepest secrets of Saturn. As Cassini orbited Saturn, it revealed incredible insights into the planet's rings. that came from Cassini of the rings are unlike anything that I could ever imagine. If I was an alien visiting our solar system, I don't know what would stand out to me more, the blue marble or Saturn and its amazing rings. One of the biggest questions about the rings is how old are they? Could something like that really have existed from the beginning of the solar system or is it relatively recent? Cassini provided an answer. The rings could be as young as only 100 million years old. A couple of clues, the low mass and the fact that they're so bright and icy that it hasn't had time to get polluted from all the micrometeoroids and darkened over a long time like the age of the solar system. So the amazing thing is that, you know, if you were on Earth about the time of the dinosaurs, there might have been a Saturn in the sky with no rings. So if the rings didn't form at the same time as Saturn, how did they form? And what's keeping them in place? To form the rings 100 million years ago, you need to find an object, maybe a comet, or a moon gets too close to Saturn, Saturn's gravity tears it apart and forms the rings. As the object is torn apart, the pieces spread out around Saturn to form the rings. They keep colliding, breaking into smaller and smaller pieces. Like pebbles on a beach, subsequent jostling and, and self-collisions between each other will take the sharp edges off of them, creating rounded particles. From a distance, Saturn's rings appear incredibly thin and almost perfectly flat, but appearances can be deceptive. One of our last results from Cassini as it took its final plunge into Saturn was as we flew past those rings, we noticed that the rings were actually not a uniform density. That's something that nobody had seen. I mean, you had to get really close to see that, and it wasn't expected. I'm a ring scientist, and I just love seeing that detail and trying to figure out why do Saturn's rings look the way they do. There are very intricate structures, knife-edged little ringlets, and like, like almost like the grooves in a record. Begs the question, of course, where do those structures come from? The clue is hidden within the rings. There's not five rings, there's not 500 rings, there's thousands of rings. There's potentially millions of tiny little ringlets with small gaps between them and sometimes large gaps. And Cassini saw that there are moons embedded inside the rings. These moons and moonlets seem to be shaping the rings. When I think about the rings of Saturn, I almost hear symphonies playing in my head. It's all about this wonderful structure and these harmonies, the balances between gravity. So we use the word resonance. 
Saturn's moons stir the ring particles with their gravitational pull, creating waves. There's a special place where the resonance exists. Imagine where the ring particles will go around twice for each single time the moon goes around. It's like pushing someone on a swing. If you push them at just the right rate, they go higher and higher. And these places are where the waves generated. So there's this ballet, this dance, between the ring and the moons. It is one of the most elegant things I've ever seen. But the rings aren't just being shaped into waves by the moons. They're being held in place by them. Through gravitational interactions, these moons might be shaping the rings, shepherding them, keeping their flock in a nice tight orbit around the planet. In 2017, Cassini reveals there are more than one or two moons shepherding the rings. A whole team of moons holds Saturn's outermost visible ring, the A-ring, in place. One of the really cool things that Cassini discovered during its death dive was that there are seven moons of Saturn that are all working together to keep that ring system in configuration. So it's like the magnificent seven holding this thing together. Of the seven magnificent moons, the biggest is Minus. It's one-eighth the size of our moon. The smallest, Pan, is only 20 miles across. Acting in combination, these moons hold all of Saturn's rings in check. So it's these seven moons working together, forming the ring system that we see today. Cassini has truly opened our eyes to the wonder of Saturn's rings and many moons. Saturn has a lot of moons. I mean, a lot of moons. And they're all really interesting and different. Coming up with an exact number is a little difficult because it almost changes every year as we discover new ones. The latest count is over 60 moons, each with a different character 